Yeah, we can start now. So uh, I com I started Twilight reading in April, and the genre of this book is mystery. Uh, it's not mystery exactly, but it's fantasy and romance. So uh, I was gifted this book, so I thought it would be good because I heard I have heard the I have heard the song of the movie, and the song I really fell in love. Not knowing the song is from this movie. So I started it and it was really good. So first there's a girl named Bella. She previously lived with her mom. Her parents were divorced and she lived in Phoenix with her mom. So there the climate is very hot. And now she came to move with move in with her dad in a city named Fox near Seattle. So the climate there was very cold and wet and she did not like that thing. And then uh, she she started her school and she was the person who was introvert and she uh, she wanted to live inside she don't like to go out to meet new people so a lot of people asked her out but she wanted to stay at her own space but one day at recess she saw a group of uh, a kind of family and there was something about them that attracted her and most uh, something attracted her from edward so that family was a vampire family. This was a spoiler. I'm sorry, but I had to tell this. So, uh, and then she starts to uh, fall in love with Edward, and it gets very, it gets pretty intense. And later, uh, another there is another attack. And following the attack in the second book, uh, vampires are thirsty for blood. So. Uh, the, all the vampire family, uh, there was a one time Bella's birthday came. So they arranged a lot of presents and while opening the present, uh, some blood, blood dripped from Bella's hand and Edward's brother Jasper tagged on Bella. And therefore, he did, Edward did not want to hurt Bella, so he moved out and the new moon book was very painful as Bella was away from Edward and it was described really, really well and the vocabulary used by Stephanie Mayer. The author of the book also was pretty good and I could just feel Bella throughout the book and then in the third book Edward soon found that Bella could not live without him and it was their final year and graduation happened in the third book and while Edward was gone her best friend Jacob really managed her she spent time with him and he was like a protecting a son so later uh, there was a really nice bonding and one time came when the book so stephanie mayer started the book eclipse with a book fire a poem fire and ice that was written by robert frost so i could pretty well connect with it because fire and ice both are necessary so similarly it was very well described and connected by the author and later uh, bella finds herself in a situation where she has to choose edward and jacob between them so it was like fire and ice for her. And uh, there was a line in the book that uh, she Bella tells Jacob that I look at you as my own son, my personal son. And then Jacob said to Bella that I, I can clear out the clouds for you, but I can't manage the eclipse. So that line was so deep that I, I, I took a lot of time to understand and I wrote a blog on it and I keep on updating my blog, so it was very, it was very fascinating for me. And to know whether Bella chooses Jacob or Edward, and why does she does she do so, or what happens next? You have to read this book, and it's really nice the way it is described by the author. I love it. It's really fascinating sometimes, and you you can feel it, and it's like it's all authentic. It's happening inside. So I love this book, and. I don't think I'm allowed to read the fourth book, so I'm just holding my horses. With, it's very difficult to control now, so I've decided to read it all over again and again till I'm satisfied. My favorite character is Jacob because he's very loyal, authentic, and frank. Because he is very frank and he's always with Bella. He's so loyal, and I literally love Jacob. So, done. Thank you.